one should experience the ancient health benefits of dry fasting. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, huwag mong kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button, pati na rin ang tiny bell, para updated ka sa mga bagong kaganapan. Maraming salamat! Dry fasting is a powerful tool used to fight premature aging, disease, and promotes prolonging life. When the amazing healing powers of dry fasting is explained it makes perfect sense. There is a reason animals and human beings lose their appetites when sick. Unlike human beings animals instinctively use dry fasting when injured or sick. When wounded or very sick most animals find a secluded place and create a sanctuary. They rest and refuse food and water until they get better. It sounds counterproductive but the creator does not make mistakes and we need to pay more attention to his infinite wisdom. Biblical forefathers fasted for 40 days, no one would recommend that today but we all can benefit from the powerful healing powers of dry fasting if done correctly. What is dry fasting? It sounds self-explanatory but I say we need to look deeper than the words. I would say dry fasting is long forgotten healing, health, and wellness technique. Not to be confused with intermittent fasting dry fast is a true fast. No food. No water doesn't sound healthy, right? There is a method to this seeming madness. Dry fasting has been perfected and practiced by many cultures and religions throughout history. There are two popular types of dry fasting methods. Hard and soft dry fasting is very popular. With the hard dry fast, the faster does not even allow water to touch their body. None. When dry fasting the pores of the skin absorb water from contact with the environment. This is one of the reasons many dry fasting experts believe it is best to practice in the outdoors, in the mountains as opposed to cities. This much cleaner environment is preferred as the skin absorbs water through the moisture in the air. Sleeping outside and near running water in this environment is ideal for longer dry fasting. As you can imagine the soft dry fast allows the participant to drink water during the fast. The presence of water lessens the beneficial and uncomfortable effects of dry fasting but allows the faster to fast for longer periods of time. This is preferred for beginners. What are the healing powers of dry fasting? In a dry fast, the body eliminates toxins in different ways than normal. Instead of removing toxins from urine, bowels, kidneys, liver, and skin, the body turns each into a high-power incinerator. The toxins are burned up inside of each and every cell. The body is able to self-regenerate and self-rejuvenate directed by stem cells. The number of stem cells the body possesses decreases as we age. A newborn baby has one stem cell per 10,000 cells, that ratio in 50-year-old drops to one per 500,000 cells. When dry fasting, even more, stem cells are released into the blood than usual, a fact that has been proven scientifically. During dry fasting, the body begins a cleansing process that rids itself of old and sick cells. This creates vacated space and tissues for new stem cells. Stem cells are released into the blood in higher volume, occupying this vacated space and promoting regeneration and rejuvenation processes. The regular practice of dry fasting can extend life, youth, and vitality by 15 to 25 years. Inflammation cannot exist without water. Harmful microorganisms need water to survive. Dry fasting is an amazing tool that can address many acute health issues and degenerative conditions. Fasting helps the body stimulate the immune system, activates the body's anti-inflammatory mechanisms, purifies the blood, clears the blood vessels, cleanses the GI tract, and renews its mucosal lining. Dry fasting forces the body to obtain water from the cells. That is why damaged tissues, fat deposits, edemas, tumors are eliminated faster. The body knows exactly what to do. It starts by burning everything that is non-essential and harmful to the body. 
fat, tumors, ganglions, and inflamed tissues. During dry fasting, cells split faster as the body needs not only nutrients but also water. Dry fasting also eliminates parasites and promotes the regeneration of healthy tissues. Dry fasting creates a hostile environment where every cell of the body can clean the house. Only the strongest and healthiest of cells survive in such extreme conditions. Irregularities like cysts and benign tumors dissolve as a result of autolysis. The process by which the body sacrifices its sickest cells for its own survival. Dry fasting helps the body protect against harmful environmental influences, including radiation. In traditional fasting, this radiation is eliminated in two weeks and during dry fasting, the same negative effects of radiation are eliminated in five to seven days. This was witnessed when dry fasting was used to treat those exposed to radiation and suffering from radiation sickness as a result of the accident in Chernobyl. During dry fasting, a process of intense cleansing begins as toxins are eliminated. But purification takes place not due to external water, but by the cleaner, high-quality metabolic water synthesized by the body. During a dry fast, the body survives on what is called endogenous or metabolic water. This ounce of external water is like super water the body has used, filtered, and fortified. Unlike any external water, this metabolic water is of superb quality, produced by the body's cells after cleansing. This water had all imprinted negative information erased, allowing cells to experience a revitalization. Correspondingly, all the body's tissues through which blood and lymph circulate are purified of external content. To compensate for the lack of available water during a dry fast the body begins absorbing atmospheric water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen from the air. It also begins to manufacture its own amino acids. Most people who practice fasting, use it as a way to feel younger, renewed, and invigorated. This simple process eliminates all the negative content that enters the body and cannot be achieved through any other kind of medical fasting. I know what some of you are thinking. What about weight loss? Yes, some weight loss will be experienced during a dry fast and is not recommended for that purpose. Proper diet and exercise are always recommended to maintain a healthy weight for the long term. Participants emerge from the dry fasting process with new reserves of energy. How to dry fast? Each day of a dry fast is said to be equivalent to three days of a water fast in terms of detoxification, so you accomplish much more in a shorter time. Avoiding the intake of all food and water can be dangerous under many conditions. When done incorrectly dry fasting can lead to dehydration and death in a few short days. Just remember that dry fasting will impact all people differently and outside factors can have an adverse effect on the process. Factors like heat, exertion, and the overall health of the individual can lessen the positive effects or make dry fasting lethal in a short period of time. Most experts recommend slowly easing into a full-blown dry fast. One method is to start with a juice fast and a raw diet before trying a dry fast. Another method is to start with a few 36 hours dry fast during the week and slowly build to 2, 3, and 4 days. Many increase their dry fasting to 9, 10, and 11 days. Another popular method of dry fasting is called cascade fasting. In this method, you dry fast for a day and then eat for a day. You then increase your dry fasting and eating days to two each, then three each, and so on until you reach five straight days off. I believe this is the best and most effective way to ease into and reap the benefits of dry fasting. There is another method of dry fasting called the daily fast. I believe this is the most manageable way to get into dry fasting. In this method, you dry fast for 14 to 16 hours each and every day for a set amount of days or indefinitely. You can reap the small benefits of dry fasting daily with this method. Exiting the dry fast. Dry fasting builds great disciple that will help enable you to master every area of your life. After the dry fast, you should plan the rebuilding time to be twice the length of the fast. If you dry fast for three days you should plan to recover for six days. If you dry fast for seven days you should plan to recover for 14 days. You will feel energized and rejuvenated after the fast but you should still follow the recovery steps to avoid injury. Begin drinking water very slowly. 
When I say slowly, I mean take about a one or so to drink a liter of water. Savor it. Taste it. Swirl it around in your mouth hydrating every inch. Then you can begin introducing other liquids and foods. Nothing heavy please. Many people like to eat fruit, dried figs, prunes, apricots, and raisins at this time. I believe this is a good time to start any diets you may have wanted to try. Vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, and paleo are a few of the popular diets. I also like to drink a lot of rich bone broth to help restore my energy. Continuing to hydrate with vegetable soup, fish broth, and raw milk are choices I like. I believe this is a good time to start any diets you may have wanted to try. Thank you for stopping by. Please click like and bang on the SUBCRIBE button to get more exciting information. Fasting may boost your immune system. You would assume that eating less would have a negative effect on our body's ability to fight off infection, due to a lack of nutrients. But as humans, we evolved to go through short periods of time when regular food was in short supply. It's therefore been suggested that the going hungry is part of our body's natural status quo. A researcher 7 has shown that there is a strong link between taking in less calories over short periods of time and tissue immunity within the body. Eating less, in other words, can lead to an immune response that fights daily infections. Fasting can help you live longer. Fasting for periods of 12 hours or longer can trigger what is known as autophagy innate. Autophagy is a process that we go through on a regular basis as we age, and that is to regenerate and repair. It's sort of like the house cleaning on a cellular level. Aged, dead proteins and other contaminants that hang around too long appear to block our bodies and decrease everyday function. This also speeds up the aging process which, like dementia, can lead to a whole host of other age-related diseases. There are a few methods that we can use to trigger this process of cell renewal. One of the most effective is fasting. Fasting lowers your insulin levels which can dramatically increase the autophagy process. Fasting can reduce inflammation. The vast majority of chronic diseases are now associated with chronic inflammation. 350 million people suffer from conditions such as arthritis and osteoporosis worldwide. Inflammation is triggered by the release of cells called monocytes in our bodies that are produced by bad eating habits. Studies have shown that fasting can put monocytes into a sleep mode. Monocytes in the fed state are far more inflammatory than those monocytes in a fasted state. So this was the video I hope you guys loved it. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Heath benefits.